Hi, you're watching Lo-Fi Let's Plays with Lee Alexander, revisiting classic games at virtualapple.org. Um, if you'd like to see previous installments in the series, you can find them at my YouTube channel. Uh, today, we are going to be playing The Dallas Quest, which is actually not, as I thought as a child, a game about Dallas Snell, the designer of uh, Ring Quest and The Quest. I avoided this game as a child because it looked like it was for grown-ups. Uh, I thought it might be a biography of Dallas Snell. Um, it is not. Um, but in fact, I think it is probably for grown-ups. Dallas was a television soap that I believe ran from the uh, late 70s to the early 90s, and uh, it was apparently uh, full of mysteries and cliffhangers. It was about uh, oil tycoons on a cattle ranch. Um, sounds like this is what the theme song was. Um, <laughs> copyright 1984, just so you know where we're at in history. Um, so we begin here in the living room. Uh, we can see a bugle, a rifle, and Sue Ellen. Um, I don't really know who Sue Ellen is. Prior to playing this game, I thought it would be fun to kind of read the Wikipedia about the Dallas show and uh, find out what was really going on in this program. But, you know, it didn't actually uh, illuminate much. And then I thought it might be kind of fun to explore this game without knowing much about what happened on the Dallas television show. Um, one of the things that was striking about virtual Apple games, uh, or about Apple games when I was a child, is that um, they were always just a little bit beyond me. I was young enough that I never really quite understood what was going on. So in a case like this, where the game is about adult media or things for grown-ups, I would be even more confused. So, let's see. She seems attractive and determined. Wow, okay. Um, I believe she's JR's wife? I don't know. Actions speak louder than words. Well, what? Maybe we have something to, we could give to Sue Ellen. Uh, photograph to Sue Ellen. Nobody wants it. Wow, nobody wants what we have. See, we're not even given a premise of, of this. Um, we have a picture of Chuggalug Jones, a grizzled prospector with one brown eye and one blue eye. Okay, interesting. Um, clue. I do know that we can fight that, fi that we can use the clue command to find things out. Um, a tin horn may prove to be more useful than a weapon. Well, why don't we take the bugle? Um, let's see, what could be going on outside? Let's head outside. You're in a pasture, you see cattle. They're grazing contentedly. Lovely. Well, let's go back inside. Um, Uh-oh. There is a sudden thunderstorm. The cattle seem very restless. Well, I've just stepped outside the uh, Dallas mansion, and now I'm being stormed by cattle. Um, this doesn't look good. Uh, not during a stampede. The cattle are stampeding straight toward you. Uh, let's play the bugle. Oh, wow. played Brahms lullaby so sweetly that the cattle soon become calm. Their trampling hooves have partially uncovered something. The storm has passed. Wow, how convenient that we stepped outside right in the middle of a storm that was going to trigger a stampede. Yeah, um, the big question uh, of the Dallas program back in the day, um, I remember Twin Peaks and wondering who killed Laura. Um, prior to that, the big television mystery was who shot J.R which I think is the Larry Hagman category in this, uh, the character in this, I don't know. Um, what have, what have they uncovered? Um, search, clue, okay, yeah, well, we already knew that. Um, what have their hooves uncovered? Um, I don't know, perhaps let's revisit this later. Um, well, I guess Sue Ellen, uh, had some place to be. Um, I don't know if we should take that rifle just now. Let's see. If you can see over here in the right-hand uh, side of the screen, it lets us know uh, what directions are available to, the, to us. I assume this is our score, but I'm not really sure. Um, so what have we got in here? We're in the den. Okay. Let's search for a clue. Don't rely on open containers. Um, I see. You can get arrested for having an open container. Um, the desk is open. Search desk? What is in the desk? Well, 
in desk. Okay, see, as you can see, the parser in this game doesn't seem to be very sophisticated, but uh, I, if, if I were an oil tycoon, this is definitely the kind of den that I would have with a tiger on the floor and a cactus in the corner and a set of longhorns over the door. Um, well, I did experiment with this game a little bit um, ahead of, of playing it for you, so I know that's a pouch. Um, it contains... Oh, we have to open it. Okay. <laughs> There is tobacco in the pouch. Okay, let's close the pouch. Um, interestingly enough, the clue in this room that told us not to rely on open containers, if we were to uh, if we were to walk around with an open pouch, we would lose the tobacco permanently, which was a fixture of games in the early 80s, that one mistake could really be the end of things for you. Uh, so let's see what's outside. You're lost in a wheat field. You see nothing special. Well, I, I don't want to be lost in the wheat field, so let's go back inside. Um, mazes were also a fixture. Um, going all the way back to the Colossal Cave days, where you could end up in a maze of twisty little passages that are all alike. Um, you could enter a, a, a place that didn't really have a reasonable geography, um, but whereby there was only one set of directions that would lead to an exit. And uh, you would generally have to find those either by trial and error, as was the case in Colossal Cave, if I'm remembering correctly, or you could find a map or get a hint from someone that they would give you the progression of directions to use. Oh, okay, I see an envelope in the entryway. Okay. It's already open. It contains two tickets to the Dallas Rams football game. Oh, because if there's anything I want to do, it's go to a football game. It may help you to know that tonight's football game is sold out. I wonder if that's meant to imply that the tickets that, we, that we've taken here have a monetary value. Um, so let's see if we can go to the football game. Let's head outside. Um, Leaving by the front door was a big mistake. It seems J.R. paid these two burly ranch hands to prevent your escape from South Fork. You are no match for them. You put up a good fight, but you are soon knocked out. So, wow. Cold. You're unable to continue to, with your quest. Is that meant to be a grinning Dallas skull? Is that a thing in Texas? I don't know. I've only ever been to Austin. I've never, I don't think I've ever been to Dallas. Uh, yeah, let's continue trying. Now we know that death can lurk around every corner in the dramatic world of, uh, Dallas Quest. Um, and we know that we can deal with the cows outside using the bugle. Um, and we know that we'll die if we leave the house. Uh, sounds like a soap opera to me. Awesome. Well, let's go retrieve our tobacco pouch at least, because that is one thing that we haven't messed up yet. Interestingly, um, okay, cool, we don't have to open it. Um, more advanced parsers, and I'm not sure what year this began, once you had declared and defined an object you were interacting with, in this case, such as the pouch, uh, you could use the word it, like open pouch and then close it. So let's see if that works. Aha, uh -huh, so it understood. Let's just make sure the pouch is closed. Excellent. Uh, I'm not sure that I really trust this game now that I realize that you can die just from walking outside and, uh, Sue Ellen has disappeared. Uh, again, she has things to do. Let's take our tickets. I don't know much about... Uh, I've not been able to climb these stairs. And uh, on the directional indicator, there's no, there's no suggestion that we should be able to go upstairs. But what is to the north? Wow, a pool, some sunglasses, a cat. Interesting. Um, it sure is a sunny day. Well, I guess let's take the sunglasses. And let's also get the cat. I can't carry anymore. Wow, I guess all this ring and photographs and things that I have that nobody wants uh, becoming an issue. And also you drown if you try to swim in the pool as well. Um, yeah, these early adventure games were very sad sadistic, and they would kill you for the act of experimentation, which is kind of a, an interesting take on, on brutality in games. You know, everybody loves Dark Souls and the, and the games in that series because you learn by trial and error the precision of your movements, and you challenge yourself, and, um, you know, you very slowly sort of gain a sense of mastery over the mechanics. Um, adventure games were like that in a more passive way, that you you learned what to do by learning what you could not do. You see an owl. He is a night owl. Okay. 
Whoa! I can't believe that worked. This has never succeeded before. The owl flies down from the tree, perches on your arm, and allows you to place the sunglasses on his face. Imagine if I'd played this as a child with only a really primitive understanding of what the television show Dallas was about. Um, I might assume that there were uh, owl familiars wearing sunglasses. Um, enter the barn. You see a giant rat uh, and a small shovel. Could we take the shovel? Can't carry anymore. Um, give owl to rat. Nobody wants the owl. Is he my inventory? Use owl. Throw owl. Release owl. No. The rat decides you have overstayed your welcome. So if you just missed that, because I, I accidentally press enter, even though we were carrying an owl wearing sunglasses, we were just murdered by a rat. Wow. Um, 1979 was an intense time for family drama. Um, let's try that again, because I've actually never been able to get the owl to respond to me before. Um, yeah, so I guess we're, we're here looking at a, uh, a spacious Texas mansion where a lot of uh, drama and thugs and cattle ranching can go on. Um, well, let's leave that envelope right now because we don't know what it's for yet. Uh, who would want our sports tickets? Uh, okay, we've got some apples. Let's, let's step outside. Wow, so they, they even have horses here. Pet horse. Don't fondle the horse. Wow, we sure got told for our curiosity about animals. The tooling on the saddle reads, Lucy's love, and looks like a, a human being the size of a, of a tree um, has just emerged from behind the tree and is petting the horse. Uh, is that Lucy? Lucy, charmed by your rugged good looks, holds her horse steady so you can ride. Interesting, okay. Wow, you may be a great detective, but it seems you never learned to ride. Oh, so we're a detective. This is not something that I knew. Um, if you have watched the TV program Dallas, and you have any insight that could shed light on this plot, um, please write in. It's lee at leealexander.net, and uh, let me know if this actually happened in the show, because I don't know. Um, the world of adults is kind of a perplexing thing when you're a child playing games. Nothing makes sense, um, and they doubly don't make sense, because you're in a brutal adventure game that's prepared to punish you at every turn. Um, you may be a great detective, but it seems that you never learn to ride. The horse senses this and takes you on a wild ride around South Fork. Wow, okay. Amidst the blur, you notice an airstrip on the other side of a distant wheat field. Tired of teasing you, the horse returns to the yard and dumps you upside down on the ground. Nice, thanks, horse. Uh, no, horse. <laughs> Nobody wants the apple. Okay, well, can we go back in? So I guess what we've learned from that little escapade on a horse that carried us on a wild ride and dumped us upside down, um, we're given to know that on the other side of the wheat field that we witnessed on, on outside of the den is an airstrip. Um, I feel that wading into the wheat field would be suicidal at this point. So let's try to let's try to revisit the sunglasses wearing owl because nothing says to me soap opera like an owl wearing sunglasses. Um, you know, I tried bringing in this cat to the barn to deal with the rat, and uh, that didn't help. But let's bring him with me this time. I'm carrying a cat with us. And this is even animated. It looks like this dark shape swoops down toward you. Um, the owl flies down from the tree, allows you to place the sunglasses on his face. All right. What are we going to do about this rat? Let's drop the owl. It's going to work. Yep. Your friend the owl swoops down with the tasty rat and flies away with it. Well. So I wonder if the shovel could allow us to dig in the field where we saw the cattle. Um, if you've seen some of my previous Let's Plays, you may realize that so far this game is especially counterintuitive, even for its time. Um, I wonder if this is a situation where a licensed game... Uh, Miss Ellie doesn't allow animals in the house. Okay, well, cat, you can stay here. I wonder if the, red her the cat was a red herring to do with the rat. Um, yeah, I wonder if uh, even back in 1984, licensed games were going to be kind of slapshod and uh, 
not very good. This actually doesn't seem like it has a lot to do with the TV show, uh, but again, I really encourage you to write in and let me know uh, because I've never, I've never seen it before. Uh, but I do remember seeing adverts for it as a child. Uh, you know, uh, there was a lot of wealth and mansions and someone falling in the pool maybe and uh, wondering who shot JR. Um, uh, you know, I was at an age where I didn't even really understand uh, about those kinds of conflicts where someone could be shocked, and it sounded incredibly forbidding and, and grown up to me. And uh, I wonder if I would have tried this game as a child if I had known that it was about the TV show Dallas and not a biography of the game designer Dallas Snell. Um, okay, so I wonder if, uh, should we attempt to go around these, uh, the cattle will stampede again. Yep, they sure will. something. Okay, what did I find? A tombstone! Wow, shit's getting real right now. There were tombstones in our last game, Death in the Caribbean. Um, they did not go well, so um, what have we learned about digging in graves from adventure games? Actually, so far, every adventure game that we've played, uh, Dallas Quest, Death in the Caribbean, and um, the qu the quake which we played last week uh, have have had graves in it. I don't know if actually you got to see me die in our last playthrough of the quake, but uh, if you watch the playthrough of the quake, you see there's a time that I paid for an apple. Um, if you try to take the apple without uh, paying, the store owner shoots you, and uh, you see your own grave. So I wonder, I wonder if we can have a trend going on here. How many graves appear in Apple IIe adventure games? Wow. It's all that remains of a previous adventurer. The name has worn off, but some faint markings near the bottom of the stone seem to refer to finding one's way through a wheat field. Parts of four words have withstood the ravages of time. <laughs> west, west, north. So, is that going to be south, west, west, north, or north, west, west, north? Very interesting. Um, yeah, let's see. Do you think we should try the wheat field? Um, south would actually bring us back into the house if we entered the Wii field, so I'm going to assume that this is going to be north, west, west, north. And um, if any of you uh, ever are making or writing down arrangements for what you want on your tombstone, make sure to leave instructions for detectives, because um, that's you know that's apparently what people do in Dallas. Um, doesn't seem conventional to me. Should we take the rifle? I'm feeling a little nervous. Can't carry anymore. What do you think we should uh, bring? A bugle, a ring, a money, a photograph, an apple, a small shovel. Well, let's just drop the shovel. And let's drop the apple as well, because uh, nobody wants it. <laughs> Take rifle. Let's look if there's bullets in the rifle. A gun is not a toy. Well, I should hope not. Um, let's, take the, let's take our sports tickets with us to the uh, Dallas Rams football game. I'm... I'm doing Apple IIe Let's Plays. You can surmise that I don't know that much about football. Um, so, north, west, west, north, once we enter the wheat field. Let's see if that takes us to the airstrip that we saw on the horse. You are lost. West. North. <gasps> it worked! Thank you, mysterious man with a grave who left us the directions. You see the airplane. Looks like your only ticket out of here. Talk to Ray Krebs. Who's Ray Krebs? Let's try giving him the tickets. Ray eagerly accepts the tickets and welcomes you aboard the jet and agrees to fly you to South America. Since when are we going to South America? I thought this was Dallas. Wow. Okay. Well, let's just, let's just see what South America looks like. Things are going, uh, things are going left quite quickly here. You see Ray Krebs and a knapsack. Um, what are we bringing to South America? Rope, suspenders, and a parachute. Oh, geez. I think things are going to go wrong here. You don't have the parachute. The plane is circling over a clearing in the jungle. Ray tells you that you will have to jump because there is nowhere to land, and besides, he wants to return in time for the kickoff. 
Can we use parachute as a verb? Jump. You probably should have used a parachute. Well, you know, we tried Dallas Quest, but um, you weren't giving us a lot to work with here. Um, I, I don't think that this game is very good. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's really debatable whether all of these old and funny and broken games hold up, but um, I've learned nothing about Dallas, Texas. I've learned nothing about who shot JR or the TV program Dallas. Um, I used a sunglasses wearing owl to defeat a rat so that I could dig up a grave reading directions through a wheat field after sedating some cattle with a bugle. Only in the world of Apple II, you guys. Um, thank you so much for tuning in to this latest perplexing episode. Um, again, if you know anything about the TV show Dallas, or if you have memories of this game, I'd really encourage you to get in touch. Um, when I post each week's video on my website, leealexander.net, and uh, on my Gama Sutra blog from now on, I believe, um, there'll be some uh, experiences and conjecture um, shared from the people who write in. So, uh, yeah, please get in touch. And uh, thank you so much for joining me. This has been Episode 3 of Lo-Fi Let's Plays, and I hope I see you on the next one. Bye!